helping your child learn to read can be frustrating, so here's some practical advice from experienced teachers. The biggest thing I would suggest to parents to do at home from birth is read to your children. Read every night. Show them the way that you are supposed to read, the sounds that you are supposed to use, the tone and intonation helps them to realise what they're supposed to hear when they are reading themselves. Read to them, let them pick up, find words in what you're reading that they know. A child might be in kindergarten and learning basic sight words. You might be reading a picture book to them, let them pick up, I know that word mum, let them read the words and follow along with you, read the words that they know. Children who can look through a book and get the idea of the story from pictures is halfway to, to beginning to read. If they stop reading and look at the pictures, that's okay too. The child gets a clue from the pictures. The pictures are there specifically to help the child gain meaning from the text. If it's a struggle, read the book to them first and enjoy the book and then give them a go. The things that parents can do to help their child is to give the child ownership of the book, let them hold it, let them look through it, and remind them that their eyes track from left to right in the book, point to the words as they say them to make sure the words match up with the number of words they're saying. Don't try and rush them too quickly, just take it one step at a time. Keep your cool, don't just jump in and tell them what it is. Have, talk about it, so, you know, look at the pictures, what do you think it might be? Give your child undivided attention. When you're sitting down with them to read, they are the most important thing for that five or ten minutes and make them feel that reading is special. Sending out words um, with children is really important at home. So if you're looking at a word, um, for example, cat, you might um, look at the first sound, so the cut sound, then look at the end sound, the tur. You might look for words that are within the word, like at, and then blend it together. So cut at. Put sight words onto cards, have the children going through those cards at home. Sight words are those small, simple words that we find in texts every day. So they might be your words like girl, boy, man, the. One thing I think is a great strategy for kids when they're first reading strips of paper or strips of cardboard and just pick a sentence out of one of these books. Mum is swimming. Write it on a piece of cardboard, talk about it first, read it, cut it up into pieces, put the pieces on the table and say, okay, you make that sentence for me now. The concept of pause, prompt and praise is where if a child comes to a word they don't know, you stop, you pause. Give them a chance to work it out for themselves. You prompt them if they can't come up with a word independently. So you might give them uh, visual prompts, which what does the word look like, you know, what do you think would fit into this. Then if they do make the right attempt and get the word correct, then you praise them. Make your child feel success you know, that they've done it themselves. Praise is very important when the child's starting to read because it builds up their self-confidence and it makes them want to read. If they feel they're failing in reading, then they won't want to do it. It is about practice and that's one of the things that you see in kindergarten. The children who have parents who are diligently helping them with their nightly reading and are helping them with their sight words, they are the ones that take off quickly. The others uh, take off, of course, but it's that practice. It really is a lot of repetition before they learn words and learn letters. There's lots of little things. Um, reading stories to, to your child at night, you know, before they go to bed, or um, if, if there's something they ask you about while you're cooking, you know, telling them what the label says, or yes, that's a stop sign when you're driving. I really think home reading is an, an important thing to do. If your kid just did 10 minutes of extra home reading a night, 50 minutes a week, you know, you're looking at an extra hour of, an extra hour of work that um, can be basically just done as a parent and child. The most Im important tip for parents to encourage reading is looking at their interests and um, building on that, children who struggle to read find it hard, so if there's something they're interested in, then they'll want to read. 
Some good ways to get um, boys in particular reading, there are some great series out and they're, they're geared towards boys, they're written for boys. If they want to read their magazine, their BMX magazine, their comics, they're still reading, they're still learning words, they're still understanding. It doesn't have to be the traditional books, novels that we're all used to. But hang in there because reading's really important and any child that loves reading has a pleasure for the rest of their life. And you'll find more expert tips and interesting articles on helping your child learn to read at schoola to z.com.au.